This video aims to provide you with guidance about how to use a website called Photopea to create a piece of artwork inspired by the artist Michael Craig Martin. As you can see on the screen, your assignment has been set in which you are going to produce a piece of work using Photopea using one of the three images here on the screen that's been preset on your assignment. You can choose either the bronze, the silver or the gold images here to produce a piece of colourful digital artwork from. Gold being the most challenging one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you first of all how you can get the uh, gold or silver or bronze image off the assignment and onto your own computer in order for you to then upload it and open it in Photopea. So I'm going to choose this MCM gold file, the gold image here. Simply click on the image itself from your assignment and it'll open up in a window like that. Now in order to get this, uh, this image onto your own computer we need to then be able to download it from the, the screen here. So at the top right hand corner you will see three dots and it says more actions there. I want to click on that and open it up in a new window. And the reason for that is it then gives us more options here to basically download the image. You can see a download icon there, the arrow pointing down. So I'm going to click on the download icon now. So we've opened it up. We've opened it up in a new window. And now you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it's opened up at the bottom. So it's downloaded at the bottom of the screen in which I can open that file. So again, I'm going to open this file. And now it's opened up in a separate window in which I can now again save this onto my own computer. So I'm just going to put it in my shoe folder here. You might want to rename the file and then I'm just going to save that in there. And it's saved a copy now in my computer. So there's a bit of a, a three step process there of opening up your assignment, open in a new window, download it, open up the download and then save it into your own computer. So that's that process there. Now let's go to Photopea. You'll see here on your assignment there's a link directly to the Photopea website. So I'm just going to click on that link now. And what you'll see now, it links you directly into Photopea. Photopea is a website that allows you to edit images, particularly photographs, but in this case we're going to edit and produce a piece of artwork using the image I've just downloaded. It works just like Adobe Photoshop, and if you've ever used that, it's a very similar piece of software. So here's what you need to do. Once you've opened up Photopea, you go to File at the top, and you press Open. And then basically you've got to find the folder and the file that you just saved, the, the image, the Michael Craig Martin image. So I'm just going to go to my Shoes folder here, and I'm just going to find my Michael Craig Martin gold image there. I'm just going to open it up. And now you can see there on the screen, it's opened up that image into Photopea. Now what we're going to produce, if you remember the work of Michael Craig, Michael Craig Martin, he produces very colourful, bright, vibrant images. So we're going to add colour into this image. And the reason why we're using just a black and white image, just a pure pen drawing, is that we're going to drop colours into each section of this drawing. So you'll begin to see how it formulates and creates um, Michael Craig Martin inspired design. Now in order to show you what you're going to do with this, I've already done a version of this and I'm just going to put onto the screen now my example of what I've created using this software. So you can see there I've added lots of different colours into that shoe image there to create my own version of a Michael Craig Martin style uh, piece of artwork. So that's what we're going to have a go at doing now in the video. So just move that away. So what you need to do, if you go down the left hand side of the screen, there's lots of little icons and symbols. And if I just get to this one here, you'll see it's called the gradient tool. Now I don't want the gradient tool. What I want to get is what we call a paint fill tool. So I'm just going to a paint bucket tool. And it's this one here. And this is what we're going to use to fill sections of painting. So I'm just going to click and hold with my mouse and get the paint bucket tool there. So it's now changed to that paint bucket tool icon. The next thing I need are colours. 
Over on the right hand side of the screen, you should see some menus here called History, Swatches, and Colour. So if I just go to Colour here, I've got lots of colours here, like a palette of colours I can choose for what colours I'd like to drop into the drawing itself. So for a moment, it just it's already got purple selected there, I can select different shades of purple, or I can go down the colour bar and begin to get different shades of blue, red, orange, yellow, etc. So you can decide whatever colours you want to do. So let's start with the green colour. I'm just going to select that green there. And you can see there that that's where the colour's been selected there. You now move across. Okay, you still have your paint bucket selected. And now what, basically what you do is you can then just decide on a section you'd like to fill. So if I just go into the star, and I'm just going to click into the star there, and it fills just that space as long as the black line is completely surrounding it. You might want to go up to this side here and click into there. I can now go back to my colour palette. I can change the colour I want to use. I've got a blue there. And I might want to say, right, I'm going to have all this section here, that blue there. And again, you can just begin to choose and select which areas you'd like to change the colour. Now, because this is a very complex image here, there's lots of small shapes in here to fill. So in order to kind of get into more detail here, you need to zoom into the image. Okay? And the reason, the way you can do that is by going up to the menus at the top here, and if you go to the window menu there, the window, and you go to Navigator, can you see there, just popped up, and you can zoom in and zoom out of the image. So I can get really into this, I can then move it around. So those little circle shapes there, I can get a yellow colour there, and I can drop in that. So eventually what you'll do is you'll fill that image, including the background, with lots of different colours like the one I showed you at the start. Once you've finished it, you'll need to then save it. You go to File at the top, you go to Export As, and you can either export it as a PNG or a JPEG. Any one of those top two is fine. You might want to use JPEG because you might be familiar with that file. So say that's been finished, I'm just going to go to JPEG, press Save, and just like you did with the other one, it downloads it off Photopea, I'm going to open up the downloaded file now, go to my three dots, and save it into my folder here. And then I'll just press save. Okay. And that is basically what you're going to produce over the course of this lesson. There's the example that I've finished and completed, and you can use any colour scheme that you wish. I hope that's been of help, and I look forward to seeing what you produce. Bye, everybody.